Hello everyone, our group will talk to you about endemic species in Indonesia. Indonesia is a country located off the coast of mainland Southeast Asia in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. The country is rich in biodiversity, with 259 endemic mammals, 382 endemic birds, and 172 endemic amphibians. The first endemic species I will be presenting is the white cockatoo or the cockatoo alba. Currently, the white cockatoo is under the endangered category. It is around 18 inches long and weighs about 400 to 800 grams. They have brown or black eyes and a dark gray beak. The feathers of the white cockatoo are mostly white. White cockatoo is endemic to lowland tropical rainforests on the islands in North Maluku, Indonesia. These cockatoos are sweet-tempered by nature, making them well-suited to be companion birds. They are active in both day and night, and in the wild they mate for life. White cockatoos feed on berries, seeds, nuts, fruits, and roots. When nesting, they include insects and insect larvae. Moving on to their reproduction, both females and males incubate the eggs for about 28 days. The chicks leave the nest about 84 days after hatching and are independent in 15 to 18 weeks. The juveniles reach sexual maturity in three to four years. Their life expectancy is about 40 to 60 years. The second endemic species we found are the spectral tarsier. This cute looking species is currently a vulnerable species. It has a body weight of 200 grams, body length of 240 millimeters, and a tail length of 160 millimeters. Their fur is soft and ranges from gray to buff gray in color. They have long slender hands, feet, and digits. Their hands are adapted for clinging and gripping as you can see in the photos. For the distribution, Spectral Tracia is endemic to Indonesia islands such as Sulawesi, Pula Pening, and Pula Selaja. They are commonly found in primarily and secondary rainforest. They are also nocturnal animals, so they are active at night. Because they are nocturnal animals, they have large eyes and well-developed fovea to maximize light gathering capacity and to allow them to have sharp vision. In terms of diet, they are carnivorous animals, so they prey on insect, lizard, and snakes. In terms of reproduction, they breed twice a year. Their gestation period is around 6 months and their life expectancy is around 8 to 12 years. Next, for the third endemic species, we're going to talk about lowland anno, which is also known as miniature water buffalo. Sadly, it is now considered to be endangered animal due to threat like hunting and loss of habitat. In terms of characteristic, they have short dark brown hair. Their body length is around 180 cm and they can weigh up to 300 kg. For their unique features, they have short triangular base horn that are straight and point to the back. This horn can be used in fighting or when they feel in danger. In terms of distribution, lowland anu is native to the island of Sulawesi in Indonesia, and they live in lowland moist forest and wetland. For their lifestyle, lowland anu love to live an isolated life, and they are most active in the morning and afternoon. They prefer to rest in shade during the hot part of the day. They may also drink seawater to fulfill their minerals. In terms of diet, they are herbivorous animals, so they consume various kinds of plants such as grass, aquatic plants, fur and fallen fruits, plum and ginger. In terms of reproduction, their gestation period is around 9 to 10 months, and their lifespan, for the lifespan, they can live up to 30 years. Lastly, coming to an end of our presentation, we have compared the characteristic of three different species and these are the observations that we have found. First, all three of them have short fur. So we think that this helps to reduce heat conservation as they all live in a hot tropical area. Second, all three of them consume wide variety of food. This could be because variety of food is available in Indonesia, which is a tropical country that has rich biodiversity. Lastly, all three of them have three different color. We believe that this could be because Indonesia is a place with many types of environment, so it is likely that animal has high color diversity in order to fit into different environment. This is the end of, of our presentation. Thank you.